Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from L11news.com yet again. The Diamondbacks are pretty close to bringing J.D. Martinez back. If you've been paying attention, the players on the Diamondbacks are highly advocating in bringing back J.D. Martinez, reaching out to him personally, etc. Now the Diamondbacks have come up with a plan of obtaining J.D. Martinez may be a similar contract like the Cubs gave to Darvish, where they're paying him like $20 million, then $19 million, then $20 million, then twenty five, whatever, like, like trying to fit their business model of how much they're going to spend per season. I can see the Diamondbacks offering J.D. Martinez a long-term contract like this, where he's making about like maybe starting off at twenty million, then raising it up to twenty five million, something like that. I do not see at this point the Red Sox offering JD Martinez more than five years. Their offer to him is supposedly one hundred and twenty five million for five years. I can see the Diamondbacks making a deal with JD Martinez where. The offers may be similar or more for more years, where, like I said, they start off low, then increase it, then come back down as he gets older. But, like I said, more than $25 million. And, like I've been saying, me and the Simonetti source have said on our recent podcast, we believe that J.D. Martinez will become a Diamondback yet again. What does this mean? This means the Red Sox might get more dangerous. I know I keep mentioning the Red Sox, but really the Red Sox are the only team that stands in between the Yankees and first place. So let's say the Red Sox lose out on J.D. Martinez. They're still going to have that money to dump on other players. Morrison, the former Ray, his name is popping up. Edwin Encarnacion is popping up as well. Let's say the Red Sox sign maybe a Morrison and save some money. They still have money, folks, to go after a pitcher like a Arietta or Cobb, maybe. So, J.D. Martinez going to the Diamondbacks works 50-50. The Red Sox might settle for less with a Morrison. And yeah, I believe that the Red Sox, if they obtain another starting pitcher, because the Yankees obviously have not, they become a threat. Yeah, I'm not living in denial. I know a lot of people have been triggered by me saying that the Yankees currently have a wild card caliber team. And when I say that, people say, oh, I'm saying that the Yankees suck and they're going to be a 80 win team. No. They're going to be, as of now, they have a team that can win 90 to 93 games in a season, okay? Well, with that extra punch with a starting pitcher that's legit, they raise their chances to being a first-place team. That's what I mean. So, as of now, I believe J.D. Martinez will be a Diamondback, as I previously thought. Expect the Diamondbacks to offer J.D. Martinez close to seven years because obviously he's not taking five with the Red Sox. And remember this, J.D. Martinez has only had one healthy full year in the major league, so the Red Sox are smart just offering him five years. Like I said, if the Diamondbacks sign him, expect a contract where it's more comfortable for the Diamondbacks to pay. Like I said, it's going to start off low, maybe increase, and then decrease as he gets older. Probably throw in an option as well with some perks here and there, like uh, become an all-star or whatever and get a raise or something like that. So like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.